。赶紧坚守该区域，竭尽所能阻止敌军。Well, that was quite the scream, wasn't it, guys? So welcome back to Delta Force. Today, we're going to take a look at some more gameplay. You guys seem to like what I put out yesterday. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some very different gameplay. Instead of it being more aggressive and up close and personal, we're going to be taking a back seat and doing some sniping here with the SV-98, the recon class. And I believe this operator is called Luna. So... This is what some of you guys in the comments asked for. I know not everybody is like an aggressive assault style player. Some people just like to stay back and snipe as the recon class. So this is going to be more your kind of pace. And as usual, since this is a Battlefield channel, we are of course going to be drawing lots of comparisons to this and Battlefield 2042. And if you watched the footage from yesterday's video, there were a lot of comments talking about how this game looks so similar to Battlefield 2042 that if I hadn't written Delta Force in the title, you would have thought it was Battlefield 2042. But we'll get into that in a minute. Before we do, if you guys do enjoy the content here on the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Not only will I be, of course, covering Battlefield here on the channel in the future, but I'm also going to be covering Delta Force Hawk Ops going on to the Alpha Test, which is starting on the 18th of July. So if that is something that you're interested in please do subscribe the support in yesterday's video was fantastic so thank you to everybody who watched that and who did hit that subscribe button and the like button and everything but without further ado let's just jump into what we're watching here so right now they're doing a pretty good job of showcasing the lean mechanic which is actually something that doesn't exist in battlefield 2042 but does exist in this game so that's kind of interesting it's probably one of the only things that exists in this game and not in 2042 I think it's fair to say with this game and the Havoc Warfare mode, which is going to be essentially one third of this game. So there's going to be three modes. There's Havoc Warfare and then there's also Hazard Operations, which is an extraction shooter. And I will do some footage and some commentary on that as well. I've got some footage of that. And then the third one is going to be the campaign, which is Black Hawk Down, based on the game uh, from the past, which is, of course, based on the movie, which is based on real life events. Well, bit of a mouthful there. But this particular game mode, I think it's definitely fair to say that they've... I mean, they've copied DICE's homework. They have really completely plagiarized the game. And I guess, I don't know, that's just allowed in this day and age. That being said, though, I, I, I don't really feel like it bothers me that much because I am a Battlefield player. I'm looking for great Battlefield experiences. And so this having a lot of similarities to that game kind of feeds into exactly what I'm looking for. I would even go so far as to say that this game to me is sort of like Battlefield 2042, but done correctly. It's more like the way I sort of hoped or thought the game would be like. It seems more polished, the graphics seem better, even though this is an Unreal Engine 4 game, probably one of the last Unreal Engine 4 games we're gonna see because everyone's transitioning to the new engine. But it still looks pretty nice, it looks polished, the weapon animations are solid, the sound is decent, it could definitely use some work, but it's not bad, and bear in mind, by the way, this is from the Chinese Alpha, if you're wondering why everything is in Chinese, the footage is from there, but the Alpha that's coming out this month on the 18th is, of course, going to be in English, and I think a number of other languages as well. Now... This particular specialist, let's talk about her because she's got a couple of abilities, as you might imagine. So I think she's got some sort of a recon arrow. If you've played Overwatch and you've played Hanzo, it's basically the same thing that he's got, like the sonic arrow. It can see through walls. This one is definitely going to be controversial, I think. It shows not only for yourself, but all of your teammates as far as I can tell from the footage. I could be wrong on that, but it seems that whenever somebody launches one of these, everyone can see it, but maybe it's just your squad, but it's at least for more than just yourself. And furthermore, unlike Pike from 2042, where the scan is in a small, I mean, just look at that, right? In fact, I think if you look down at the X key for this character here, which is fully charged at the moment, that is the recon arrow for this particular character. So they can see somebody else's recon arrow here. And of course, given the range of it, given the radius around the arrow that it lights people up and shows you them through every single wall in the game, I think this could really be abused. It's sort of ripe for abuse, really, isn't it? Imagine everybody playing as this class, firing these recon arrows or whatever they're called all over the map. Um, you're going to be constantly spotted. And I know that that's been a bit of a pet peeve for Battlefield players. 
like just wall hacks in general in an FPS game is uh, it's got to be balanced correctly, hasn't it? Otherwise, it has the potential to snowball into being completely overpowered and turning the recon class into the best class in the game. So the other arrow they have there is some sort of a shock arrow that is on the V key. And I guess it just shocks the enemy. I don't know if it holds them in place. I don't know if it slows their movement speed. I guess we'll hopefully see some of that in the footage here. I haven't really checked through much of this, so I'm just sort of commentating it live as we watch it down together. This guy is uh, dying a few more times than I would like here, so hopefully he's going to get some good snipes off. Uh, it seems he's just switched weapon there. What has he got now? He has the Mini 14, and it looks like he's got a suppressor on the end of it there. So, interesting. He's got 10 rounds. Maybe this is... I guess this is like a semi-auto sniper rifle rather than a bolt action. Has he got a tank there? There's a tank over there. He's got to be careful of that. The explosions in this game do look really nice as well. Like, overall... Oh, there goes the recon arrow. Let's see what this does. It doesn't seem to have gotten any spots from that, but just look at the range. Look how far you can fire that thing. That's going to be incredibly powerful, I think. Overall, though, I have to say, from what I've seen of the sniping so far, it seems to be quite punchy. There is a lot of visual recoil in this game, as I mentioned in the last video. So depending on if that's something that you like from other games like Call of Duty or you more so despise it if you're perhaps a Battlefield player, you know, that's maybe going to rub you the wrong way there. And it's very pronounced on the sniper rifles here as well, especially if you're going to be using like a DMR or some sort of a semi-automatic weapon. Like, wow, just look at that there. That's a, that's a pretty big kick. Here we can see the lean back in action again. Come on, get somebody. You can headshot somebody. I believe in you. Not that one. There you go. Nice one. So these weapons seem to be doing around 58 damage in the body here. Similar damage model. Oh, nice. Another headshot. 188 damage that was. And another one. Nice one. This guy's popping off, dude. So yeah, similar damage model to Battlefield 2042, I would say. There may be an increase in, uh, you know, hit multiplayer on the body, depending on the range. I'm almost certain of that. So the map we're playing on here, by the way, guys, is called Cracked. And I believe it is an old Delta Force map from way back in the day. For those of you who don't know, by the way, this is a reimagining of the Delta Force series. This game has been around since the early 90s, believe it or not. I believe the last one only came out towards the end of the 2000s. So if you're maybe somewhat younger than I am, you may have never even heard of this franchise. So this is Team Jade reimagining the series and bringing it back here with three completely distinct game modes. You're going to notice down in the bottom right as well, you can see on the X key we have the recon arrow and then we have the vault arrow next to that. Then we've got a grenade and then that one on the number four key there, I believe that is a spawn beacon. So for all of the operators in the game and all of the classes, depending on whether you're playing Havoc Warfare or you're playing Hazard Operations, they will actually get different class gadgets. And for the recon class, they get a spawn beacon in Havoc Warfare. But if they're playing Hazard Operations, where obviously you can't just respawn because it's an extra shooter right you just when you die you're dead then you get a radio which allows you to survey the map not exactly sure what that means or what that entails maybe it's going to allow you to you know find missions to complete there but we'll get into all of that stuff when it actually comes to talking about hazard operations but I gotta tell you guys, overall, my feelings about this game are getting better and better. When I first heard about Delta Force Hawk Ops, I thought, oh, you know, like, is this actually gonna be a legit game? Is it gonna be some cheap Chinese knockoff that's just, a, like, trying to imitate Battlefield and extraction shooters? But like I said, man, it looks pretty polished. It looks pretty decent, especially for an alpha test. If it's actually a true alpha test and this is not just some sort of a, a marketing alpha test and then they're just gonna release the game in a month, I certainly don't think that's the case they do plan to release the game sometime this year but it's probably quite a few months until it happens and so i fully expect them to have beta tests and all of the rest of it but yeah man it looks pretty decent by all means guys comment down below let me know what you think in the comments let me know what you think of the sniper gameplay here i am no sniper when it comes to these sorts of games i don't really do a whole lot of it so it will be interesting to hear from perhaps some more seasoned snipers if that's your play style in battlefield for example let me know what you think of the sniping action here is this something that tickles your fancy does it get the adrenaline going leave me a message below and let me know 
Now, yesterday I asked you guys if you wanted me to just upload some straight footage to YouTube without me talking over the top of it. You guys can tell here in the background, I'm not editing the footage out. I'm not editing out the deaths or anything like that because if I was you when I'm watching a new game, I like to see how the game looks in its entirety. I want to see the death screen. I want to see the spawn screen. I want to see all of the mechanics and I don't want all of that stuff to be cut out. So that's why I'm showing it to you guys unedited. And what I'm going to do now is unlike yesterday i'm going to wrap up my commentary i'm going to turn the volume up a little bit and i'm going to leave the remainder of this footage on screen for you guys to watch with proper sound so you can get a feel and get a little bit more immersed in the action here but as always guys thank you for watching the video hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the content here on the channel and you want to see more delta force hawk ops or indeed battlefield and i'll see you guys in the next video Charlie! 
这是扭转局势的唯一机会。战斗区域内，炮兵齐射已就绪。这是我方最后一道防线，必须守住。战斗区域，烟幕即将抵达，战略信标已部署，不惜一切代价守住该区域，这是扭转局势的唯一机会。收到，炮击即将抵达，区域烟幕已部署。该上了。